<laughs> Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for this bout presented by Auto Shopper, your new and used car showroom. Josh Berkman, 33 years young, 5'10", 170. His reach, 72 inches. Tyler Stinson, 28 years of age, 6'3", 169, and a 75-inch reach. So, boss, this one on paper is extremely compelling in the welterweight division as Josh Berkman goes through final preparations before entering the cage. Yes, this is uh, a, a big one for Bergman because not a lot of people know Stenson. He's been flying under the radar, right. but boy, did he, can, can he knock people out, you know? It's like you said, had that look in his eyes from the Bates Motel, you know? <laughs> he stands there, you think he's all this great technique. I think it's just great technique. It looks like a haymaker when I hit you. That's what he said, but it's just perfect technique. I like a guy like that, has a lot of confidence, and let's see if he can land. So Berkman, the former World Series of Fighting welterweight champion, he lost to Steve Carl at World Series of Fighting six, looking to get back on track and take the belt back to Salt Lake City and the 801 as we set it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official introductions. Here we go, fight fans. This fight is brought to you by Auto Shopper, your new and used car showroom. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner. His record, 28 victories, nine defeats. 19 of those wins come by way of knockout, six by submission, and he is on a four fight win streak. He stands six feet, three inches tall and weighed in at 169 pounds. He fights out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Winfield, Kansas, ladies and gentlemen, the evolution, Tyler Stinson. Yeah, well, no secret here. He's got to stay on his feet, so he has to move after he strikes. Very important. And now his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner. His record, 27 wins versus 10 defeats. Six of those wins come by way of knockout, 10 by submission. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at an even 170 pounds. He fights out of Salt Lake City, Utah, presenting Josh Berkman. Well, he needs to be in and out with his attacks. Very important, use counters to set up a takedown. He needs to fight on the ground. When the cage door closes, your referee is Jason Herzog. So here we go in the welterweight division. The former champion, Josh Berkman, taking on Tyler Stinson as Stinson, who debuted at World Series of Fighting 8 with a win over Valdor Arahu, looking to get another one. And you get a win over Josh Berkman, Boss Rutten, that is a big time deal. It really is. You know, it really is. In his last fight when he lost the title, you know, he, he just didn't look like it was the Josh Berkman we normally know. You know, a little slow way, he, he ran out of gas fast. I think uh, something happened there maybe in the training camp, but you better believe he, uh, he worked on that. Come back stronger. A lot of fakes in there. You know, putting your opponent on the toes. You gotta watch out. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, Bergman had the southpaw to train with, especially a hard hitting southpaw. I know Stinson is okay. <laughs> he changed with yeah. KG. <laughs> yeah, that's, that says enough by itself. You know, like these two guys beating each other up in the gym, that can only be, you can only become better. Boss, does this fight tell a lot about Berkman's desire to stay in this game? After getting the, to the top level, getting the belt, then loses it to Carl, how much more does he want to go at 33 years of age? He has, he has designs on being the governor of Utah, and that's not a joke. I, I, I read that, yeah, and uh, knowing him, yeah, it's not a joke. He really wants that, but uh, he really wants to win as well. And I think he truly believes he can still yep. make a run for the title, and he can. You know, he's that type of person. Determination. Whoa, oh, look at that a, reach. Yeah, Berkman just a well-rounded athlete. Oh, that is a nice low kick there from Stenson. And the fact that really jumps out of me on paper, the career of Josh Berkman with a record of 26 and 10, he has never been knocked out in his entire career. Wow. That's Boss Rutten type that's, stats. Uh, that's cool stuff, yes. He's got to watch out though with this throwing a single kick, and I'm talking about Berkman. 
They want to do that against the power striker. So Stinson looking for his second win in the World Series of Fighting. Draws Berkman, the young man out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Kansas. He's on a four-fight win streak. But remember, five of his losses of that 27-9 oh, record are by Kale. He is done. Berkman yeah. shuts it down. Wow. Wow. Beautiful strike. Never expected. I thought he was simply luring him in, and in the last minute, shoot for a thing down and go for a submission. But no, 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 he says. I can knock this guy out, and he did. Great. How do you like the physical stylings of the people's warrior, Josh Berkman? One punch power, Boss Rubin. Yeah, yeah, well, we knew that also. You know, with his knees, he's got everything powerful. So Stinson makes one mistake. The hands come down just a little bit. And at 5'10", Berkman fires off an absolute bomb. And then while he was down, he ran to him and gave him uh, an uppercut. You can, I guess you can kill him an uppercut. Let's look at this one yeah. one more time as Berkman absolutely explodes to the bridge of Stinson. Boom! And now watch this. Oh, he comes up with his face. Bonk. Wow. Very impressive. He's back in the house. Look at this little baby boy holding that. He's gonna see it in a bit. The right and the finish. Oh, man. And you know, Jason Herzog's a pretty quick cat as a referee. He couldn't get in there quick enough. Right here, Berkman finishes it. And give him a credit, he could have dropped down and probably thrown down some heavier bombs, but he backed it down. There you see Josh Berkman and his family. Peace. Oh, that was so cool. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, very impressive. Well, he so, uh, Mr. <laughs> MMA, what does this message send to the rest of the MMA world? That means uh, I'm back on track, guys. I went to the drawing board, and I'm going to come back for that title. And we will be back with the decision. Josh Berkman in stunning fashion here in round number one. Round number one, Berkman gets the win in Vegas. We'll be back after this. Back in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino World Series of Fighting Nine alongside Boss Root and I'm Todd Harris. What a fight for Josh Berkman in the welterweight division in the first round. He gets the knockout over Tyler Stinson. As we sit it inside the cage, Jazz Securo has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over at two minutes and 15 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, the People's Warrior, Josh Berkman. So Josh Berkman, the winner, round number one, 215 into this one. Oh, one of my favorite songs, yes. As we take a look at the Boost Mobile highlights, and this will be quick, Berkman with the lightning hands. Oh. Yeah, that, well, what can you say? Picture says a thousand words, right? Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 